As the wood includes the design of bearing walls, subject to different types of gravity loads and lateral wind pressure, but how do you actually solve a real-life example? How do you enter the information in the program? How do you check the results? How do you optimize the design? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to solve completely from scratch a real-life example of a bearing wall using as the wood. Let's get started. As an example, let's consider this two-story building. The second floor and the roof are composed of wood joists at 24 inches spacing, and these members in turn are supported by bearing walls at both ends. The bearing walls will consist of wood studs at 16 inches spacing, and the goal is to design the size of these studs for the first story of the building, which is 16 feet high. The loads applied to this building are the roof dead load is 10 PSF, the roof live load is 20 PSF, the floor dead load is 8 PSF, the floor live load is 40 PSF, the wall weight is 7 PSF, and the lateral wind pressure is 50 PSF. With this information, we are required to design these studs using LSL composite material. Let's get started. When you open as the wood, you see the project manager. Here you can see the modules included in the package, wood columns, wood beams, and wood bearing walls. In this example, we're gonna create a wood bearing wall calculation. Let's click on this button. Let's assign a name, let's say example, add, and then the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the node in the tree. And this is the template for bearing wall design in as the wood. Here in the geometry tab, we're going to enter the information given in the statement of the problem. We know that the height of the wall is 16 feet. Let's enter that. We know also that the stud spacing is 16 inches. It's OK. Also, we're going to use a composite section. And we're going to select LSL. Now let's go to the materials tab. Here we can select the material properties from the database. We click on the Select from Database button. And these are the products offered by the manufacturer. In this case, it's Louisiana Pacific LP. So we're going to use the second option with grade 1.5E. Click on Select. And then the properties has been transferred to the template. We're going to assume dry conditions, so zero moisture, and also normal temperature. Now let's go to the Loads tab to enter the information that we know. With the geometric dimensions of the building, we can easily calculate the loads per linear foot. For example, we know that the dead load for the roof is 10 PSF, multiplied by 8, the tributary width is 80 PLF, and the floor that dead load is 8 PSF times 8 is 64 PLF. The wall weight is 7 PSF times 28, the building height is 196 PLF. So the complete dead load is 340 PLF. We can enter that, 340 PLF. We know that the floor live load is 40 PSF times eight is 320 PLF. And the roof live load is 20 PSF times eight is 160 PLF. Finally, the wind load, we know that is 50 PSF, the wind pressure. So we have entered all the information given in the statement of the problem. We go back to the geometry tab. Here we need to select a section to be tested for these conditions. Go to the select from the database button. And these are the sections available from the manufacturer. For example, we can test the first one. This section is 1.5 by 3.5 LSL. Let's click on that. And this section is failing in several ways. For example, the maximum slender for this stud is more than 50, is 55, so it's not passing. In addition, this equation 393 is not passing either. So let's go to the next available section here. 1.5 by 5.5. Select. And this section is passing all the conditions here, including the slenderness, 
now is 35, and all the combined stresses are passing, all the ratios are less than 1.0, so everything is passing in with this section. Let's go to the condensed tab. These are the adjustment factors for LRFD. Please note that the controlling load combination is 1.2 dead plus 0.5 life plus 0.5 roof life plus wind. These are the adjustment factors. The column stability factor, CP, is particularly important, 0.17, meaning that the full capacity embedding of the column is reduced to only 17% due to the slenderness of the member. Here are the bearing stresses, everything is passing, no bearing plate is required at the bottom. These are the adjustment design values, and these are the combined stresses. If we go to the detail tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, section properties for the nominal size selected from the database. These are the reference design values, also from the database. Then the adjustment factors for this controlling load combination. Please note that some of the factors are per manufacturer. Other factors are per NDS. And this is a calculation of the column stability factor that we discussed previously, 0.17. Finally, the adjusted design values. And then the calculation of the combined stresses in compression, here in shear, then in bending. And finally, the combined stresses. Everything is passing less than 1.0. Here's the calculation of the bearing stresses and then the design codes. If we go to the diagrams tab, we can see the interaction diagram between axial force versus bending moment. We can see that all these points representing the loads, in the load combinations, are inside the usable area in the interaction diagram. So everything is passing. If we go one more time to at a glance, this is the final design of the studs. The maximum combined ratio is 0.71 for this member. As you can see, it's very easy to design wood bearing walls subject to different gravity loads and lateral wind pressures. We were able to model the wall, enter the information, check the results, and optimize the design in just a few minutes. If we tried to do this by hand, it would take probably hours to complete the design. But using the software, we did it just very quickly. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.